I think we all received the news with a great deal of shock about Bob's passing. You know, nobody expected this to happen so soon. Although some of us knew that Bob was ailing in recent weeks. But I think to respect his legacy of the company and what he has done in the last nine years, uh, Bob has taken this company from where it was when he arrived here in 2010 and took over from me. I think we have been very fortunate and lucky that Bob understood what Safaricom was all about, the, the DNA of Safaricom, and took it to another level. I think you've all experienced Bob, uh, his largeness, his enthusiasm, his greatness, his affinity with people. And I think that's what has driven this company and what Bob has done for this company. I think it's too early and premature to, to, to speculate what might happen next. But I think that as a board, I think we should be confident that wherever we select to be the next leader of Safaricom would continue with that legacy. We would make sure that happens and that the DNA of Safaricom would continue. I think we all have a sense of huge shock about the sudden passing of Bob that it suddenly happened and we're still coming to grips with it. Um, but I think we would ask the media to be respectful. You know, it's not time now to speculate on what would, might happen in the future. It's more now time to celebrate uh, the life of Bob, the achievements that he made uh, in, in, in Kenya, what he did for Safaricom, in, in a very different way to what I did, but in probably in a bigger, more humane and more open way. So I think Safaricom is still a great company. It is still the greatest company in Kenya and will remain so. And we continue to see that it will grow with the team that you have already sitting here to my right. Um, we all know what Bob's legacy is. We all know what Bob wanted. In, he was at peace and I think he knew what, and everybody in his team knew what Bob wanted us to do going forward and we'll continue with that that ambition and with those objectives. Thank you.